This is the Paper 4 FX V3.3. It's a small update, but I'm adding three new elements into the Paper 4 FX toolkit. First of all, we have this circle one, which looks like this. Let me make this smaller a little bit. And actually you can just adjust the size for these. So it's not that big. And then it closes up like that. Then we have the circle two, which is a little more of a different style of folding, right? And then it closes up like that. And then we have the paper fold square or the square element, which is four square elements, because I realized that a lot of the paper fold effects were not fitting perfectly with elements that were not rectangle, right? So if you wanted to use these on a different type of shape, then it was a little bit difficult to make sure that it fit correctly. So that's why I decided to add these three new elements. Maybe I'll do another square that's a little bit more like these animation of like, sort of like, what do you call that when you just crumble? Yeah, more like a crumble animation rather than a fold out animation, which is this one right here that we have um, on the third new element that I'm adding. Now, if the speed is too fast for you, there's the duration controls and you can make these as big as you want and it will last that many frames. Basically, this one is set up by a sequence of 12 images. So if you set this, set this up to 12, which is by default, then the whole thing will be really fast. If you set it up to 24, each image of the sequence stays for two seconds or two frames actually. So that's why it lasts 24 frames. Now, if you want to make this slower, just add 36 and then each of them will last for or will stay on screen for three frames, right? So this is how you can adjust these and adapt these to whatever your needs are. And that's basically it. That's basically it. I also fixed a few of them that the in in the previous effects that had some media out issues, you know, that text that shows up right here when there's multiple media outs in a fusion composition, that issue was happening. I realized that while I was updating these. So yeah, that is the Paperful Effects V3. Point three. I've already updated the fourth wall and the lemon squeezy store, and you should be able to get them from your dashboard right there from whichever you got them from. Now, if you got the Swally bundle, which includes the paper full effects, you should be able to find that as well right there in your dashboard when you check your Swally bundle. That is it for this video. Make sure to check that out and let me know down in the comments what you want me to add maybe in the future. And now that I've added these, I'll be able to focus again on the other project, little projects that I have going on, like the speed master tool and those. So that is it for this update. Uh, make sure to check it out at paperfulleffects.com if you don't have it yet. And if you already have it, make sure to update yours so that you are on the latest version. That is it for this video. I'll see you in the next one here in Slavic. Bye.